You may apparently need me to tell you this, but please don't microwave aluminum foil. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media news daily. This started out as a trend which came over from Japan. Twitter user Asu Astel showed people how he made a shiny ball of foil by hammering and sanding down the edges, and others in Japan started making their own. We even did one of those cool text on screen videos for Facebook. That is what you call cross-platform promotion. It was a nice, fun, and harmless trend. And then of course some people had to go out there and make it dangerous. Why you gotta do that? A couple of fake tweets used Asu Astel's photo to make it seem like the shiny ball could be made by putting a crumpled bunch of foil in the microwave. And then a couple of additional tweets made people think that maybe some people were actually gonna put balls of foil in the microwave. One indie 3 tweeted, wow, I just burnt my microwave because of this. But he was joking. Good, because I hope he has more sense than that. That photo he used appears to come from a Japanese website about fire prevention. And this photo from DJ Wally Main also has been floating around the internet for a while. It looks like they're all kind of part of the same April Fool's gag, so as far as we know, no one's actually taken this seriously and microwaved foil. Good, because science. Foil is a conductor. It takes on heat and gives out more heat. It creates big boom, if that helps. And if my description of that boom just was not enough for you, we are kind of curious what does happen when you put foil in a microwave. So this video from 2013 should have the answer. Oh boy. That microwave's toast, dude. Okay, I stand corrected. It doesn't completely explode, but still not good for your microwave. You don't ever want to f with radiation, that's all I'm saying. I like get nervous to stick my hand into the microwave to pull my food out after I've opened the door. And let me tell you, those people who just randomly open the door before the beep's gone off, damn. I don't even know how you're still existing at this point and aren't just like a big green monster. So to sum that up, you should avoid putting anything in there that you don't want to get really, really hot. But if you have some extra time on your hands, you can make a really cool shiny ball. Japanese YouTuber Sky Tomo detailed the process on his channel. It involves forming the foil into a rough sphere, hammering it down for about two hours to make it more exact, polishing it with sandpaper, and then using a liquid abrasive to make it shiny. It's a relatively simple process. Asu Astel gave these instructions to BuzzFeed, and that link is in the description. Seems like a fun use of tinfoil when you're not making yourself an alien hat, so I uh, figured I'd give it a little whirl. So let's turn this puppy into a ball, shall we? Oh, it's already big. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't have a hammer at all, so we're just gonna just put it in there, just squish it down. Just gonna use my. Just okay. Yeah. I don't have a hammer. I don't have any type of liquid that would make this different, but like totally almost spherical. If this isn't fun for the whole family, I don't know what is. In fact, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do with aluminum foil. YouTube channel Kiwami Japan made a working kitchen knife out of aluminum foil, and you can probably do that at home, as long as you're planning on using it for kitchen stuff. And while we're on the topic, let's dish some knowledge at ya. Tin foil hasn't been made with tin since World War II. After that, it was replaced with aluminum since that's cheaper and more durable. And millions of people still call it tin foil, and it's a losing battle to try and correct them. And to be really honest, it's mostly because most people can't say aluminum. 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 And if you grew up in South Africa like me, we call it aluminium. I know, so different, right? And if you don't want to be called out by your buds, you just call it tin foil. Don't say we never taught you anything. Did we just save you from putting aluminum in your own microwave? If so, let us know in the comments. And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.